16.12. So we're given the function for a wave on a string. Uh, X and T are in uh, uh, meters and seconds, respectively. And so what we want to do is find the transverse speed U uh, for any point on the string when its displacement is uh, positive 12 centimeters. And so this is a bit tricky because we have a particular displacement we want, but we have no information about X or uh, T. So we somehow have to get rid of those so that all we're left with is a Y and then we can, you know, put in our numbers and, uh, you know, get the result we're looking for. But first things first, we know that the transverse speed is the, just the time derivative of the displacement. And so this is 225 pi centimeters times the sine of pi x, or 225 centimeters per second, I should say, uh, times uh, pi x minus 15 pi t. Now, if we know that this is, um, you know, 15 times 15, then uh, what we can do is we can square u and add it to the square of 15 pi times y. So what we end up with is 255 pi squared. And this is why we chose 15 pi, so that they both have the same uh, the same factor out front. Times sine squared of pi x minus 15 pi t pi x minus 15 t plus the cosine squared of pi x minus 15 pi t if I could remember how to write a 5 there we go And we know that sine squared of something plus cosine squared of that same thing is just 1. So if we then just solve this for u, so we have u squared plus 15 pi y quantity squared equals 255 pi squared, then u is just going to be the square root of 200 and Oh, sorry, this should be 225. Two hundred twenty-five pi squared minus fifteen pi y squared. Now this simplifies to uh, 15 pi, because we can take our 15 pi uh, squared out. And so we're just left with an extra 15 squared minus y squared. And so you see we've come up with an expression for u that doesn't involve x or t. So we just put in uh, 12 centimeters here, then uh, u is going to be plus or minus 
135 pi. We don't care about the sign because we just want the speed. And so then this is 4.24 meters per second. This is in centimeters per second because we have our centimeters out here and then the seconds come from the angular frequency. Uh, so you have to be careful about getting the orders of magnitude of all the units right, but if you if you need to you can just carry them on through this entire process here and it'll just you know be a bit more writing you'll have to do but then you'll be, you know you'll be sure that you got the right uh you have the units right so it's worth doing 